So for instance, one of the, when you do, for instance, a, when you do a CBC, a complete blood count. So the CBC is going to tell you counts of, for instance, the red blood cells. It's going to tell you the white blood cells. It's going to tell you the platelet count and so forth, right? But not only does it tell you in terms of the count of the, like the numbers of cells, it also gives you lots of other information about the blood. So we can do a CBC, a full chemistry, for instance, is going to tell you about those cells plus the electrolytes. But for instance, we can also do, let's say, a CBC with diff. So if we take a CBC with diff, that's now going to, for instance, tell you all kind of information about the different white blood cells. And I'm going to go into that next. All right, let's clear some space. Now let's go back to one of the levels, though, when you're doing the CBC, one of them is going to be what's called the MCV. What is it? Talk back to me. It's the MCV. So you're doing lab work. One of the levels you're going to check in the blood is the MCV. That stands for the mean corpuscular mean corpuscular volume. What does that mean? That's just a fancy way of saying <laughs> um, what is the size of the red blood cells, okay? So one lab value that we're going to look at when in the setting of anemia is the MCV, the mean corpuscular volume. Basically, it's telling you about the size of the red blood cells, okay? Now, obviously, we're going to look at, for instance, the uh, hemoglobin and hematocrit levels to figure out uh, do we just give fluids or do we are they at the point where their levels have dropped low enough to where now we need a transfusion, for instance? But what I'm talking about is not so much about recognizing the anemia, but figuring out what type of anemia it is. OK, so, yes, the H and H, the hemoglobin and hematocrit levels are going to tell us, OK, yes, it's now at a point where we call it anemia. But for instance, what we're talking about is what kind of anemia it is, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to look at this MCV. We're going to look at this MCV level, and we're going to separate it into what we call small, normal, and big, okay, in terms of the size of the red blood cells or the volume of the red blood cells. If they're normal, we're going to, if the cells are normal, we're going to call that normocytic. If the cells are small, we're going to call that microcytic. If the cells are big, what do you think it's going to be? <laughs> it's going to be macrocytic, okay? So where are we so far? We're talking about anemia, and we said that we're going to, we're going to, to figure out, we've already used the H and H to determine that, yes, they have anemia. Now we're going to use the MCV to, to lump them in different categories. Mm -hmm. And based on the MCV level, we're going to call it either microcytic anemia, normocytic anemia, anemia, or macrocytic anemia. Okay. Now, what are the numbers or numbers? <laughs> Getting tongue tied over here. <laughs> so, normocytic anemia is where the MCV is between 80 and 100. Okay. So when you when you get the lab report. If the MCV is between 80 and 100, we call that normocytic. If it's less than 80, we call that microcytic. So this is really small uh, volume. And then if it's greater than 100, we call that macrocytic. Okay, so now I want to talk about what are the different types of these different kinds of anemia. Okay, so when it comes to microcytic anemia, where the MCV is what number? It's going to be less than 80. Now, let's talk about different types of or causes of microcytic anemia. Okay, let's go back to the screen. So, one, may, one uh, primary cause of microcytic anemia is iron deficiency anemia, okay? So, an iron deficiency anemia is one cause. And the way I remember this is, hey, think fast. Okay, we're going to think fast, F-A-S-T. The F, of course, is for iron deficiency. The A is for anemia of chronic disease. 
So they have some kind of disease process that's causing them to lose, uh, to lose blood over time. It could be, for instance, it could be cancer or it could be uh, some other inflammatory process. There are many conditions that could cause this, but they have some kind of chronic condition that's causing them to their levels to go down over time. So we have iron deficiency, anemia of chronic disease. Another one is sideroblastic. And then, for instance, the thalassemias. Okay, now, I'm not going to go too much in depth just for the sake of time because I got more I want to cover. But some types of microcytic anemias are iron deficiency, anemia of chronic disease, sideroblastic, and thalassemia. Okay, and of course, with thalassemia, we can get into alpha and beta, major and minor, and so forth. But let's just keep it there for now. Now, when it comes to normal cytic anemia, well, this could be all types of things. For instance, chronic disease can also fall in this category. Sickle cell can do this. Lots of different things. Their whole, I mean, there's a whole list here. There are lots of different conditions that could cause a normal cytic anemia. Okay. Like for instance, let's say, let's say hemorrhage. Okay. If you're just bleeding out, if you're just losing blood, right? Uh, let's say there was trauma. Maybe it was a car accident. Maybe somebody got uh, shot, stabbed. They're hemorrhaging for some reason. It's not like the blood or the blood cells change size. They're just losing the blood. So that would be an example of, for instance, a normal cytic anemia. Now, where I do want to focus, though, is, for instance, this category of macrocytic anemia. Okay? There are a couple different, uh, several things could cause this, but what I want to focus on is, for instance, a B12 deficiency, vitamin B12, vitamin B9. So, for instance, we already talked about a B9 deficiency. We already call that a folate deficiency. Remember, we were just talking about folate how it's added in prenatal vitamins to prevent, for instance, neural tube defects. Well, uh, leaf green, dark green leafy vegetables is a great source of, of folate. It's also a great source of iron, a plant-based source of iron, for instance. So this is a great uh, cause for telling you, hey, make sure that you're eating fruits and vegetables and grains. Make sure that you're... Uh, if you're not getting all the adequate nutrients from your food, make sure that you're supplementing it with some type of uh, vitamin. So for instance, uh, just a good multivitamin that has, uh, gosh, I wish I had the time to go into vitamins and really break down all the, let's say the B complex and the C, the different water soluble vitamins, and then the fat soluble, the A, D, E, and K. Uh, I can do a whole like two hours on just vitamins, for instance. Long story short is make sure that you have adequate nutrition because for all these different processes in your body to function properly, you definitely need certain vitamins, minerals, trace elements in your diet, okay? Or if they're not in your diet, you've got to get them some kind of way through supplementation or some, some way. So just make sure that you have uh, proper nutrition. If not, it's going to contribute to all types of problems, okay? Now, when it comes to macrocytic anemia, we said that a B12 deficiency could cause it. Uh, so uh, B12 or cyanocobalamin, for instance, this could be maybe they have a GI problem that affects uh, them being able to absorb uh, B12 properly. Uh, maybe they have a problem with, so maybe they have pernicious anemia where they it's a problem with intrinsic factor, for instance. Uh, so that could be any type of any type of GI problem could lead to that. A B B9 deficiency. Uh, now, what could cause this? Well, like what could cause a B9 deficiency? Well, for instance, uh, anti-epileptic drugs. So seizure medications could do it. Um, alcohol, um, antibiotics, chemotherapy drugs. All types of medications could cause a, for instance, a, a folate deficiency. Those same medi medications, so anti-seizure medications, antibiotics, anti-metabolites, um, alcohol, all kinds of medications, infections, things like that, that could affect your folate levels can now also cause you to have anemia and that type of anemia is a macrocytic anemia or a megaloblastic anemia, okay? Now, let's see, we, we covered a lot on